Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Not yet, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Sorry, sir, could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Are you serious? Your special agent, Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure, but this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. The victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body and the pole directly behind her. 
Now, why would they do that? Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death? Blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. <sighs> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Shut up! Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something! It won't budge! It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey, whoever's in there, stay back! Izuki! What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Putting that aside, 
Do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um... Remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm, I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Okay. <laughs> Amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? 
You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Glass of wine. Leave it to me. Hey. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Dante diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Aiba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me, stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony! Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. A basket. I cannot see inside it. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a $1 bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness. But oftentimes, they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. A lamp. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. <laughs> you don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? A 
a skeleton. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? The skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead, but they should. A skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. What? A gun came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? A gun. It won't go off? That should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. A door locked with a padlock. Leave it to me. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors... Just pull the trigger. You got lucky. A door locked with a padlock. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose... I see! The gun was the key! Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it.
Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. You think it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I wanted to feel fun in here. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Huh. So, nothing to report then. Got it. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me.
In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene and I got a little carried away and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Hello! 
No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. I've been thinking a lot lately, about myself, if I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote, I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself, that's the point. Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. 
they were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. You're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. About 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then everyone was willing to lend you money. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where Irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. 
Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. But she's an idol. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Spices and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. A large jellyfish. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference.
A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. Product description reads, solid model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Date, I've found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? 
I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? No, I'm kind of busy right now. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2.3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. discussion about your obsession with insects. That is a high school. A high school? No, Date. What is that supposed to be? I do not know. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber. Pongo Ponko and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Hey, 
Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub-accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yes, yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Oduin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... don't do it again, okay? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park.
Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight-or-flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Hmm? Something wrong? What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Let me confirm something. You're A-set, right? Let's play a game! Shadows! Um, Thread? Silhouette? A-set! Fears! Uh, Upset? Regret? A-set! Water! Wet? Sweat? A-set! in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... I turned 18 this year! A senior in high school? Yep! Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh. I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... So, 
Suzuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winter. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. You aren't even blinking. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah! Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... 
not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? I told you! I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. <laughs> 